Hi, welcome to Ascended Heart Navigators podcast hosted by Nataraja and Ms. Mechanism. Today we have our featured guest, Swamp Witch. (laughs) (laughs) She is creative, amazing, passionate about creating photography that is otherworldly. And we all collaborated on a project called The Blackening, uh, which was on Black Friday of 2020. Uh, And it was definitely our own way of celebrating Black Friday, which is healing old traumas so that we can enter our new age and our new earth in a more elevated, ascended, and grateful way. Uh, And so we'll talk about that experience today. And we'll also talk about her artistry uh, as a very avant-garde photographer. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Can you tell us about your career as a photographer and more? Uh, yeah, so um, I started out as um, I guess mixed media artist, a lot of pen to paper, a lot of, uh, you know, papers to canvas and things like that. And um, I, I'm very much uh, in any anything that sparks my fancy, anything that is just pulling me at the time. So whether it's video work, it's photography, it's this, it's, you know, it's that anything that I, it just immediately just sparks something. And it's just like, oh, this is what we're doing now. This is this is what I'm getting into. I'm going to learn what I can and how I can use that to help other people. I can use that to help myself, you know, um, and just the world always needs more creative stuff it needs to be pretty it needs to be fun it needs to be expressive so and so anyway so that's how i ended up in photography and photography really just just bam just exploded for me so mecca you froze (laughs) so as mecca um as she's yeah I'm surprised it's not me. It's normally the um, well, swamp excellent. internet is well, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a storm. There's actually storm bands coming through. Uh, oh, okay. so the internet has been knocking out a little bit here. So Cross has been our technical advisor uh, <laughs> on this side of things. Um, but if I freeze, that's okay because um, I will leave it to uh, Nataraja. Um, if you can talk about your inspiration for creating the blackening ceremony. And then uh, how we got to meet the amazing Swamp Witch and how we all collaborated on something that's very sacred uh, and important to our lives and our spiritual journey. Right. So, yeah. So, Nataraj, what was your inspiration for creating the Blackening? Um, yeah, we were, um, as, as Earth was going through a very um, intensified and accelerated um, extension, ascension process, um, uh, what took us for it was like it was it was basically all year starting from um, April uh, 2020, but it really like started feel. I think a lot of people um, on the earth began to feel um, ex- significant changes that were um, happening around October, uh, October November, and that was um, you and I had had many conversations about about global trauma, about trauma and transmuting um, trauma. And um, we had gone to um, a recording studio. Um, Refresh my memory about the name of the studio. Alpaca Ranch Recording. Yes, Alpaca Ranch. And uh, Swamp Witch was there. And we were talking about about, uh, global trauma and transmuting drama drama and our uh, ceremony work that we had done before. And we were thinking about doing another um, trauma release uh, ceremony, a shamanic ceremony. Um, and that was the first time I met uh, Swamp Witch. Um, and you you do a lot of work with the Alpaca Ranch uh, recording studio. Um, and you were there and you were like, I'm, I'm so curious and so in. Um, <laughs> and that's, uh, that's, base, that's really a huge leap, I think, for anyone that, that is stepping into being, even being interested and doing videography and photography of a shamanic healing and a shamanic ceremony. Um, and especially with the issue of, or the, or the theme around grief. And um, I applaud you, uh, Swamp Witch. Um, um, I love your name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I applaud you for stepping into that realm that is not um, within the comfort zones of, 
of a lot of people. And one of the things that I would like to, to hear from you, um, in addition to your work, uh, but what was your, what was your work um, or, or your experience of, of it as a photographer and as a videographer stepping into this world of, wow, there's people who are like, you know, covered in mud and screaming. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think the, the biggest grief as uh, how everybody deals with grief differently is just, just a general, just a theme in my life, something I find absolutely fascinating because it is, it's something that we all go through. We all experience in some way or another. And it's just, it's, it, it's just never ending, just interesting and wonderful to me to see the way that different people do it. Um, a challenge for me is I did not want to feel like I was just, um, I didn't want to feel like a documentary crew. I wanted to experience it with you while also capturing it. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just, it was fascinating. It was just absolutely fascinating. And it was really like, sorry, I'm trying to find the right word for it. It was wonderful seeing people actually get help. Like it was, you could see people processing either on their own or with the help of the person next to them or as a whole. And that was an absolutely wonderful thing to witness. Even, even if I'm just looking through, you know, the viewfinder, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so that's, that's what I really loved about that experience. Again, while still trying to be respectful and not, you know, in the way, you know, um, but yeah, it wasn't, um, I don't, I think I'm just so used to be, you know, around a lot of other creatives and theater folk and, and musicians and everything else. So it's, you know, when it's just like, oh, people, you know, covered in mud and screaming, it was just like, okay, Tuesday, you know, that's fine. But, you know, like, it's fine, you know. Um, but yeah, but yeah, even with the heavy subject matter, it was still just like, it, it, it was, it's, it's, it was such a community feeling through the, pro through the process of it at the same time, which was, again, fascinating. Did that make you more aware of how you may be helping people express grief through some of your other art? Like, did yeah. it make you more aware? Absolutely. Of um, I feel like in those spaces, it makes it a lot easier to talk to other people. Yeah. In ways, um, especially because people get so uncomfortable in front of a camera sometimes. And that is, that's one of my big things is I don't, you know, you don't have to immediately become a camera ham. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be obsessed with, with being the center of attention, but it's it's a it's connecting with other people in and their vibe and their vibe and their energy and and experiencing a, a group community event like that it, it does make it easier to talk to people because it's like okay well if this avenue isn't working for you let's try all these other different waves and vibes and everything that we can figure out we're gonna we're gonna figure this out together you know <laughs> like we're, we'll find what works for everyone and that's how we're gonna move forward that's how we're gonna make the art that's how we're going to make the creativity that's how we're going to make the magic happen so nice yeah and and you as as an artist and being in that space and um i have a feeling that you'll probably be um invited into more spaces like that as as the earth that. continues <laughs> um to go through serious transformations and if you're working with mecca um <laughs> but as um as an artist, I'm really super curious of, of um, the lens in which you're looking at um, what things what things are to be captured. Like what what is what are the essence of of the things within like the photo the photographs or the video that that are the the, the pieces that will be pulled together for the subject. I'm I'm curious from from your vantage point of being in that kind of space. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> um, I don't like hard posing. I don't like, I, I want to see somebody's real reaction to something. I, I want to see what, you know, do you know what I'm saying? I, I really want to see them. I want to see them even, it doesn't matter what part of them, whether it's sad, whether it's happy, whether it's mm -hmm. what, whatever it is. Um, and I think that's the most important part of like as as part of of my art that's part of my art is it it could be very stoic it could be very funny it could be spooky it could be what have you mm -hmm. um and that the, my viewing lens is i want to i want other to i want other people to not only see themselves the way i see them but i want to project that of just like this is the range of human emotion this is the range of human experience mm -hmm. and i want you to see that as it is relatively raw and laid out you know mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, and some of your, um, uh, you put together a really, really beautiful like clip of, it was a very brief like introductory clip and had individual conversations um, with various people who are at the, um, the, the blackening and the blackening, um, it was, it did happen on, on Black Friday and we, and we chose that as kind of like a counter consumer culture of, um, <laughs> as, as the world is sinking into the trauma of what we're doing. Um, to ourselves as, as humans and to our to ourselves as a planet, um, it was definitely a counterculture moment of of grieving uh, global trauma. Um, so, my um, so in that so you you made you made several like you know videos and you know, like interviews of people that were there um, and some pieces that are going to be released on Instagram. Um, and Facebook and as we um, move forward. But I'm also really curious as to what other other things that you have, because um, I know that you're very busy and you're working on a lot of projects. So I'm really curious of what the other projects that you have going on. That yeah, I'm, I'm on. The, the master of the idea picture constantly. <laughs> like I can't stop, I'm like, oh, I saw this really funny thing on blah, blah, blah. Um, so, um, uh, the project's having up. I've been working on a lot of styled, styled shoots, themed shoots lately, um, where I can, I just want the creativity to flow. I just want to, uh, I want to encourage people to come to me of like, I don't care how strange you think the idea is. Love that's that. what I want to capture. That's what I want to work on with you. Like, that's what, I don't care how out there it sounds. Um, if you feel like this is a creative thing that you can't do on your own, come to me come to me. I will, I have the video, I have the drone, I have the camera. Let's make this, let's make this happen. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. so the style choose have been, um, sci uh, my funnier ones have been more sci-fi related lately. Um, I, th I think with, um, what was it? There was, um, I'm so sorry. I just had a, uh, blank on that one for a second. There was, uh, they were releasing like UFO, uh, information basically. And I think just because I've been exposed to so much of it. So that was just like, okay, we're going to roll with a the theme. This is, this is what, this is what we're focused on right now. This is what is out there right now. So let's have a lot of fun with it. Let's make it fashion. Let's make it fashion or let's make it fun or let's make it, you know, quirky or, you know, um, and so that's how a lot of those come about. It's just, you know, it's just funny conversations I have with people or, you know, somebody's just like, oh, I can't think of another photographer that would actually sit there and do this with me. Will you do this with me? And it's just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's absolutely, let's go. Like, And so um, people find you on, they find, they find, I want, I want to know about Swamp Witch. Um, <laughs> if people are wanting to find you and your work, where do they go? Oh, uh, so I am, I'm, I'm dead smack in the middle of a website relaunch. Uh, but the Instagram is my photo blog and that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Okay. Um, and it's Swamp Witch Photog on Instagram, you know, short Swamp speed. Witch what? Uh, Photog. Photog. Okay. Yeah, Photog. Yeah. Photog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, so when, uh, when I um, met you, I was kind of thrown back. I was like, Swamp Witch, what is that? <laughs> um, so can you can you as I know tell us tell us I'm so curious what where did that come from um it uh it, it's uh just the vibe it's the vibe um I live in an actual swamp um okay. uh we well, our only neighbors uh there's a horse farm and an orange grove everything else just marsh um and I am uh, just a friend to every critter um I I'm one of those people it it, it freaks my husband out because uh, it could be a coyote, it could be an armadillo, it could be a possum, and they just walk up on the front porch and say hi, you know, and sometimes I'll leave treats out, you know, I just am one with the swamp and it just kind of evolved from that. <laughs> like, it's just like, instead of being the spooky bog creature, you know, um, it's just like, oh, I'm just friends with all the plants and animals and this is, you know, <laughs> they just find me like even even like even I I even specifically went out and I have a I have a snake hook because I I, I look all the critters have a job they all have a job they all have a purpose they they all have their own business to attend to um so even you know even that where just little things little things where I'm just like okay you know I you know you can do your business just not on my front porch you know you gotta go you know? <laughs> um and so that's where it evolved from it just it just just me kind of being the the friendly neighborhood bog creature basically and it was oh. swamp witch that's yeah <laughs> a, a perfect yeah. such a great name <laughs> Um, very cool. Well, and, and we did get to do a little witchy photography shoot together yes. and some other little magical collaborations, which I love. 
Yeah. Um, so I can't wait to do more crazy things. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. However it lands. But um, yes, uh, thank you for being willing to um, jump into strange adventures with us, but it does seem like it's your nature. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> We're, we're some more of the creatures that have passed by and you're like, oh, hey. Oh, okay, yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, Nataraja, do you have any other questions to um, to ask the beautiful Swamp Witch? Um, I am, oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, what we had mentioned before was I'm a topic of both curiosity for both Nat uh, Mecca and myself is um, the intersection of, of, the the witchy part and the mysticism part with your work so do you see your work as um as medicine or healing for yourself and others when you're creating these things especially things that people aren't willing to create typically like aliens and grieving and you know a lot of like the sorrow behind things you are able to capture some of the things that are spookier aspects of life too which a lot of people are afraid of do you see that as being cathartic, medicinal, um, sacred in any way? What's the mysticism behind? Oh yeah, your... absolutely, absolutely. I, uh, I every everyone got through the past year and in whatever ways that they could. Um, the photography with me really over the last year because because I could do it at a distance. I could do it safely. I could you know and it still have that art connection and still have that out. Um, it. it is an absolute focus for me. It is an absolute passion for me. And what I love about it is it doesn't matter who's sitting in front of me. It does not matter what belief system they come from. It does not matter in, in, you know, in, in any way, shape or form, we can connect through that glass. We can connect through that glass and we can talk to each other through that glass. And it absolutely changed my perspective on how I view the world. Like it absolutely, change how I see the tiny things. Um, and that that is an absolute, like that kind of creative where it just changes the way your whole brain works is an absolute magical thing to me. Like it just, it's just that, that's that's the mysticism because it's just like this creative thing completely changed how my brain works and completely changed my outlook on life. So I would like to think that that connection show, shines through and where, where there are a million other photographers out there that people could work with and they could do this. I like to think that they choose me because of that connection that we have through the glass. I like to think that it is my vibe. It is what I put out there and what they get from our sessions together, that that is the connection. That's the magic that they also feel. And then that's, that's where it happens. I, that, that's how it, what it means to me in a otherworldly way like the, in any kind of connection that there is that that's what it is it's it's yeah it's just it's just the vibe it's the vibe and it's how it affected and changed my whole brain and that's that's what I think is the is is that connection to it for me incredible um yeah I, and I think that if a lot of people knew that they could express something in yeah. their lives that that would be um as they said it's always a positive energy to express even if you're expressing sadness and grief yeah that is healing, that is yeah, yeah, exactly. a form of positive energy. Yeah. Um, so I I really admire what you do. And I love the spooky side stuff that you're willing to do because- I'm always gonna lean back on that. You know, there's always <laughs> yeah. a little piece of my heart there. <laughs> and I love it because it like, you feel like you're going on these journeys into another aspect of the world that we don't get to see very often uh, through your art. Uh, so it's, it's, um, sensational and expansive because it feels like we can peek through a lens that we don't always get to see through in a way that's safe you know like we're given a, a secret you know that not a lot of people get to see of the world you yeah, know exactly so, thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you for creating very cool <laughs> and, ah! and, um, and Mecca, the what was that you had you both had collaborated on um you both had done another project before um the are the blackening or the black friday um, uh, ceremony that we did. What was the other work that you two had done before? We did a spooky photo shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was a witchy aspect of myself, and uh, you know, Swamp Winch was like, "Let's be spooky." I'm like, "Yes, please," because <laughs> there's a balance, you know. And that's one of the ways that uh, I know as uh, an artist that I have a range of emotions and experiences. 
And some people see me as super happy. And some people see me as super intimidating because I yell a lot on stage. Um, and there's all these different aspects to ourselves. And sometimes they all don't get space. Uh, so I loved that she invited me to be my spooky side, mm -hmm. my darker side, my shadow side, and like really love and, and lean into honoring her. Um, and I loved it because it wasn't super bright, happy or super, um, like, it, you know, it was, it was deeper to me. It felt more, um, vulnerable in my shadow self. Uh, and I almost need it, uh, to do projects like that, where people that I trust, uh, like Swamp Witch will take me someplace that I, I need help going. Um, and then it's, it is very healing for me to experience like being able to be safe in my darkness, you know? Uh, so that was important for me because I, yeah. I've been doing brighter photo shoots. <laughs> like, oh, my poor shadow. She hasn't been nurtured. And like to see like that I can love her too. Mm -hmm. Like that, you know, part of the complete and holistic aspect of who we are, even as, you know, mystical artist creatures that we all are. Um, and spiritual healers that we all are, that there is an honoring of, you know, our sadness or shadow side, the things, our weaknesses or things that we're afraid of, uh, even about ourselves. So it was, it was fun to be uh, the dark uh, spookiness of myself. And I loved that because I do, I trust Swamp Witch to, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be spooky and dark. <laughs> 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 and the things I that I'm afraid of, even of myself, I, she can I'd help like to. I, I like to pretend that like, you know, just like, oh, I got a new doodad today or let's try this out. I know I had 100% had a person in mind, like a hundred percent of like, I'm going to convince this person to work with me. Like this is, <laughs> but you, you're one of the, you're one of the perfect people to, uh, I like playing with, with color and lighting a lot and also shadows being a predominant, you know, uh, theme throughout a lot of my stuff. Um, I love the super bright neon, almost obnoxious in your face mixed with the spooky I think that is just a really funny thing to me like I think it's just a really contrasting thing and like you're the perfect person for that all the time always you know you were like one of the bubbliest brightest people I know and then at the same time like you could I, I would you know come the apocalypse I would let you be the warrior queen you know like that would be you would be I would you would be my elected official for that you know like thank you <laughs> but you're also a sunflower person at the same time so it's great like <laughs> Well, thank you for all of your time and all of these projects. We're going to be launching the pieces and parts of it, um, Instagram, Facebook, and our website, ascendedheartnavigators.com and talking about it, you know, in pieces. And um, it was so beautiful to see each little interview, the way you captured it, to see other people's perspectives, um, like, you know, Elena and of course, April playing some music and Suzanne drumming. It's like to see all these incredible people um, have their own experience of what active service we all provide for each other in sacred space. Um, I can't wait to share that with the world in, in the way that, you know, people get to peek in to something like a sacred ceremony. People don't usually do that on a daily right, basis. Right. Right. Covered in <laughs> screaming. You know, it's the grief ceremony is very rare, um, in our culture. So, uh, or any culture, I think, um, currently there's some cultures that just go and they wail when they're right. sad. We kind of like, sit <laughs> you know <laughs> so what a great thing to show so many different perspectives so we'll be honoring that and be being celebrating that so we'll be we'll be um posting on instagram and tagging swamp witch photog a lot thank you so much so it's be <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so much for, so much appreciation um to you for for capturing that and going again going into that space and being able to share that with other people is is immense and the work that um, both Mecca and I are doing and um, what's happening in the world. So I, I so much appreciate uh, you being there and capturing so beautifully um, the range of the emotions and all the different pieces that, that brought that experience together. So yeah, be looking for all of, all of her <laughs> amazing uh, photography and uh, videography um, coming out soon. Thank Whoa. you so much. Thank you. Thank you forever the invitation to those spaces and thank you for this this was wonderful right. and i miss you guys <laughs> Yay. awesome thank uh, you so much yeah we are <laughs> and we're here to be crazy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Excellent.